Now, PBS is going to air a documentary highlighting a Furman University class that sends students for a wild semester in the New Mexico wilderness. And uh, we're getting a preview, finding out what they went through there. Dr. Travis Perry, professor of biology, is here, along with Carolina Lara on the end and current student uh, Kaya Frowley, who you've been on this adventure too. Welcome to you all. Glad you're here. Thank you. Nice. Um, first, Dr. Perry, talk about this class. You've been leading it for 19 years. Students stay in a ghost town, uh, learning wildlife conservation while uh, living in the wild, essentially. I expand on that class. That's fun. Sure, sure. It's actually four classes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, field zoology, field ecology, conservation biology. They mm -hmm. do that for 12 weeks in New Mexico. And then we take them to South Africa for the final course. And, uh, of the program. And our other guest on the table, where does, where does that yeah. guest come from? So the students get to participate in wildlife research and in particular uh, we, they participate in our mountain lion research. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a mountain lion skull from New Mexico, so they participate in a capture and a collaring of a mountain lion. This is incredible. I mean, you, you think about the classes you might sign up for or even a, a study away opportunity, but this puts you really in the elements. Um, Carolina must have been quite an adventure. What, what stands out? Any favorite highlights? That's really hard to give you a favorite highlight just because the wild semester as a whole was like what made my time at Furman really, really worth yeah. it. But if I had to pick one, it would have to be like working with the Mexican gray wolves. We got to help um, vaccinate them and feed them and, and then see that they were going to be released into the wild to help the conservation efforts with them. So that was my favorite experience, I think. Wow, and you take that with you. What do you, what, what do you want to do with it when you, when you move on from Furman? Well, I've moved on from Furman. I'm actually a game warden for the state now, and yep. I actually met game wardens in New Mexico that during the wild semester that kind of, you know, triggered my interest in that, so that's what I do now. That's fantastic. So you're immersed in whatever, you're, you know, yes. what you want to be doing. Uh, Kaya, same thing for you. What, what stood out to you on your adventures? Definitely uh, being introduced to the research process, um, creating a project and carrying it out in the wild environment that we got to live in, and that inspired me to be doing what I'm doing now. Uh, were there any encounters that were particularly harrowing? Did you have any close calls? I'm sure it was uh, a lot of adventures. I mean, the hike up to Reed's Peak <laughs> yeah. definitely were steep at some times with yeah. rain and the elements, but that was also a highlight is getting up to hike up there. That's cool. That's, that's living. Your, your blood's pumping. You're, you're experiencing things firsthand instead of just studying mm -hmm. about them. Um, Dr. Perry, this study way program, the wild semester, meets a critical need in conservation. Uh, you talk about that. What do, what do you hope viewers gain when they, they see this documentary and they're exposed to that on a, on a wide scale? Um, I think a critical thing is understanding that education is not just what you get from books. There are many other facets to it. And the wild semester, we try to teach practical skills. Um, we try to develop the whole person, teach life skills. And what I hope people will get out of it uh, is an interest in <laughs> applying to Furman and applying to the wild semester. But at the very least, I hope it motivates people to get outside. Well, how incredible has this been for you? I mean, uh, you've been doing this for years and years. Did you help to create this program? And, and what's the thought behind it? Sure. So um, in 2000, I saw the ghost town of Hermosa mm -hmm. uh, my first year at Furman and decided that it would be ideal for a semester-long conservation program. Yeah. And after five years of negotiation uh, with various entities, we taught our first wild semester in 2005. And the, the incredible cadre of conservation professionals that it has produced, like these two <laughs> people to my left, um, has made it worth it a hundred times over. Yeah, I, I'm sure. It makes you really proud. You're passionate about passing along this education. Yes. Um, in all those years, for you, did you ever have any close encounters with any of the, <laughs> any uh, of the wildlife? We would need another show to yeah. talk about the close encounters. but. Um, Working with mountain lions, sometimes they're close encounters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Well, we love to uh, to hear back about your adventures, and I assume you know watching this documentary um, that is what's going to to put people really in awe. The, the cinematography where you were is just beautiful. Anything to, to look out for? Any favorite parts we should be watching for? I think the bear capture that's featured in the film is is pretty neat. Who's capturing the bear? Uh, the <laughs> um, the wild semester class is capturing mm -hmm. the bear. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. We definitely want to uh, tune in for that. We really appreciate uh, you coming on set, telling us about all this research and, and what's happening with uh, Furman University. Very cool. Dr. Perry, Carlina, Kaya, we appreciate it. We'll put information on screen now for Learning Wild. It will be screened on Furman University's campus Sunday at 5 o'clock. That happens in the Yunz Conference Center and is open 
to the public. The documentary airs on New Mexico PBS February 22nd.